BC Children's Hospital has made a huge difference in countless young lives. And this weekend, they're hoping to raise a record amount of money to keep those miracles coming. Deb has more in tonight's Insights. She joins us now. Deb. Yes, and it is hard to believe, Chris, that this is the 25th annual. It's going to be a big weekend. It is going to be a <laughs> big weekend at the BC Children's Hospital Miracle Weekend. Now, two days of fundraising broadcast live right here on Global to help the hospital continue to do all the good work that it does. All this week, we're going to be looking at some of the amazing advances that have been developed or implemented at the hospital, including new technology that's helping children with spinal cord injuries breathe a little easier. Here's Tanya Beja. 16-year-old Priya Sakon can move more freely through her high school hallways now that she's not dependent on a ventilator for every breath. She's very happy because no tubes around her neck. And uh, before, when she would go to the party and she feels shy, she has tubes. At four and a half years old, a car accident left Priya a quadriplegic. Injuries to her spine meant she could no longer breathe on her own. She could not walk. She could not breathe now. She's 24 hours on ventilator. Although life-saving, Priya's ventilator wasn't without its problems. It caused an increased risk of pneumonia and infection. A short battery life meant she had to be close to an electrical outlet to recharge. It was noisy, and the large tubes affected Priya's self-esteem and her quality of life. The other things that happen with a ventilator is that patients can't smell and can't taste because the air goes in directly to their airway and you actually need the, the pull of air to have the, the taste and the smell sensations that you and I enjoy. Dr. Sonia Butterworth is helping to introduce a compact new technology that's replacing the ventilator and giving patients like Priya more freedom. What this is, is it's a very small electrode that is implanted into the patient's diaphragm. And we actually implant four of these, and this is the part that actually goes into the diaphragm here. We plant two in the front of the diaphragm on either side and two in the back of the diaphragm on either side. And then this part comes out of the patient and goes into the stimulator. And that's about the size of a large wallet that the patient carries with them. So what this does is it delivers an electrical current to the diaphragm directly and stimulates the muscles to contract, allowing the patient to breathe in a very normal physiologic fashion. So far, BC Children's Hospital is the only centre in Canada implanting diaphragmatic pacemakers in children. Since 2009, three, including Priya, have had the surgery, and Butterworth says she's happy with the results. It's fantastic. It's really encouraging to see the difference that you can make, to see the, the small things um, like the taste and the smell coming back patients and to see what that means for them is wonderful. Well, I know you were very excited to get it, weren't you? Yeah. Would you say you feel more confident now that you, that you have this pacemaker? Yeah. The pacemaker has enabled Priya to get more involved in her favorite classes with the help of her support worker, Susan, painting and creating without the distraction of a noisy ventilator. Breathing on her own now means Priya and her family can also set bigger goals. Maybe she can start to walk and she can start eating and speaking. Does it make you feel happy? Does it make you feel grateful, thankful? Yeah, thankful. Yeah. 